All right, gang, going into new computer animation tutorial here with Wic Editor. And what we'll get into today is creating animation kind of like what you see here with a button. And so this launch button will send my animation on its way and start it playing. So let's go into how to create a simple button like this in Wic Editor to add some interactivity to your animations. So I've already got my graphic started here of my space cat. And what I'll want to do next is just go ahead and add in a shape for a button. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool here. If you want to give the button that curved edge, you can add a, a bit of a curve to the bevel of the edge. And so as I click and drag over here, you can see my rectangle has a little more of a curve going on to it. Um, what I want to do next is then kind of change the color of this. So I'll go ahead and change my fill color here. I think I was going to go with kind of like red color because it is a launch button and I could give it an outline if I want to give it an outline it looks like it has one but it's just very light right now so if I want to change the outline uh, size I can click on my shape tool here or actually it's right here in the side properties so if I want to make that a little thicker we can add weight to that outline all right so next we want to add a little text so I'm gonna add text Click with my type tool. We'll tell it to launch. Change this text maybe to a different color, like white, and stand out a little better. And maybe change my font to something a little more bold. And just stretch it to make it a little bit bigger. And that looks pretty good. Just nudge it into the center here. All right, so button is set and ready to launch. So let's take this button. I'm going to click drag to select everything here in it. You move it to a little more to the corner. And what I want to do is click on this option right on the side above make clip. We have a make button. So now this button has some different um, properties when we uh, double click it. So I want to double click this button in order to make it so that it changes when we roll our mouse over it so it knows that it's clickable. So if I double click this button, you can see you have three different stages here. We have the over stage and the down stage. So if it's been clicked, you can make it look a certain way. Um, if you roll over it, we can make it look a certain way when we roll over. That's the main thing we wanna switch. So I'm just gonna, with this uh, frame, middle frame selected, going to go over to my color here, change up my color. I'll make it just like a little bit lighter color I guess, just so that um, you can tell there's a difference that it's being rolled over. And then I'll just go back to my project. Um, if I want to test play this, I could just hit play. And when I go over it, you could see that it changes color when I hit test play um, to click on that. Great, so my button is just about set. Uh, I need to add a line of code, but I also need to tell it what to play. So I need some bit of animation here for my rocket to actually go. All right, so if I stretch out this frame here, let's say to 16 or so frames, and I want this rocket to start its launch on the second frame. So I'm just going to drag over to the second frame. I'll click on the uh, diamond here in order to add a tween. I actually think what I want to do instead is I want to copy this frame. I'm going to copy this frame and then paste it here so that I actually start a new frame here. And then I'll drag this out to, you know, 20 or so frames. So with this button now, I'm going to add the tween again. Actually, we want the button to be removed from this frame as well. So here I can click and remove my button. So the button really only wants to exist on that first frame. And then second frame is where the animation will happen. So I'm going to go to add tween to add a tween into the here. And then go to the end, add another tween ending, and I will just move the cat off the side. So that would play that part of the animation. Now if I hit test play, you could see it just kind of goes now. And I don't have the ability to click on the button, it just goes, right? So we've got to add in a little bit of code here, like we said. So first thing is, on this first frame, we want our animation to stop. 
and stop on that first frame so we have the ability to press the button. So what we can do is go over to the add script area over here and I'm just going to make sure I have that first frame selected. Click on add script. I want to go to timeline and just go to stop. Oh, but it looks like maybe what I actually want to click on is the edit the default. There we go. And so now I go to timeline and stop. Okay. Um, so when I hit this preview play, it now stops on the first frame. It doesn't go any further and play the tween. And you can see my button is working again. But it doesn't actually do anything. So I've got to add one more line of code to make this button actually play the animation. So with the button selected now, it actually looks like this has all been combined. So I might need to go to break apart. And now it looks like they aren't joined together. I think when I added the tween before, it joined them together. So now we can see in the bottom of the script panel over here, as I roll down, I have my button selected. I can click on where it says mouse click, and I'm going to change and add a line in here that's in the timeline section, and it's go to and play. So I just want this animation to go to, or when you click the button, to go to and play frame two. So I just entered frame two in here, and that will set it to play that tween. I can click on the X here, and when I hit preview play, you can see that my button highlights, and when I hit that button, it's not playing my second frame. So let's take a look at that line of code one more time. So I clicked on my button here, I clicked on where mouse clicked, and I want it to go to and play frame two. All that should be good. I do wonder if maybe there is an issue with the tween itself. Let's try and hit preview play one more time. Oh, there it goes. You know what I think it might have been was I wasn't on the first frame of my animation. So, but I must have been. I don't know. <laughs> Mystery. So, hit preview play, and I press that launch, and you can see Space Cat moves along his way. So, I'll end the preview play here, and maybe just add a couple small details to this before I call it. So, if I want the uh, flames to kind of move behind the cat, on his rocket here. I just go to this frame and edit this clip. So if I double click on the clip, I can add another frame here. So I'm actually going to just take this um, flame, copy it, and we're just going to go ahead and paste. Actually, we want to paste the entire thing. So I'm going to copy and paste, and then paste one more time. And then I'm just going to edit the shape of the flame here a little bit. So shrinking a little bit. So I just want the flame to flicker a little bit behind the rocket. And then maybe this other frame here, I'll take this and maybe just flip the flame around and rotate it and put it back into place. So really what that will do is just play through those frames and so it'll just create that little bit of kind of pulsing going with the flame behind the rocket. So. As I go back to project here, let's check this out one more time. Preview play, launch, and you can see the flames kind of flickering behind the rocket as he goes along. So um, one other thing that I might do to this just to add a little bit of, uh, you know, more of a sense to the launch is I might actually just delete the flame from my first frame. So then it appears on the second frame. So like he really goes. And I could even move this uh, first frame of the tween so that maybe it doesn't start until a little further along. And so that there's a little pause there at the beginning where the flame kind of heats up and then he goes. And the last thing really is also easing. It's always good to add easing to tweens. Uh, I think I want an ease out and that's gonna kind of make him kind of speed up gradually. So see that there, how that little pause, there's a little pause where I hit launch, 
You see the flames flicker, and then he kind of takes off slowly, and that's because of the easing. And there you have it. So with this type of project, um, you want to make sure that you save this as, as well as export it. And what we want to make sure we do is click on Interactive and export this as an HTML doc. And so what this will open in is this will open in your browser. And that's how you will preview um, and play this animation project. So um, as always, like I said, save your projects. Make sure you give them a name. You can click on the gear in the corner, give your project a name so that when you save it, it adds that name to the file. You can change your background color here as well. And that's pretty much it. All right, so that's it for creating a simple button here in Wick Editor to start to get into interactive animations. Hope you guys have fun and get creative with your own launch buttons.